Hi, welcome back to another edition of Max and Nikki 1000 Time Reactions, where we react to a song after listening to it for our 1000th time. We release one video every day, seven days a week, uh, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and ding that post notification bell to, so you don't miss out on all our content. Um, we didn't do a video uh, for Thanksgiving because we were too busy doing Thanksgiving things. So uh, sorry we missed you on that day, but hopefully you'll uh, be tuning in for the rest of the week and continue on. Um, Max is again not with us today um, as he is focusing on this musical theater prize that uh, he should be finished up within the next couple of days. So we're going to do solo time with Nikki Weinbach here for the next few days. Um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying my my solo reactions. Um, today we are going to listen to what is probably my favorite Neil Young song, Harvest Moon. Uh, maybe that's sacrilegious to some of you, but because it's a later Neil Young song, but it's definitely my favorite one. Um, if you're new to the channel, what we like to do here is listen to a song all the way through without stopping so as not to disrupt the intention of the artist. And then afterward... I'll talk about my reaction, go into some in-depth analysis, and maybe talk a little bit about the history of the song and the artist, if I should know it. Um, I also want to mention that we have another YouTube channel called Max and Nikki, on which we perform oldies tunes, jazz standards, and originals in that vein. And we have comedy videos on there as well. So make sure to check those out if you are interested. But for right now, let's take a listen to Harvest Moon by Neil Young for my 1,000th time. Come a little bit closer Hear what I Just like children sleeping, we could dream this night away. But there's a full moon rising, let's go. I want to celebrate 
Cause I'm still in love with you I wanna see you dance again Because I'm still in love with you On this harvest Ah, what a soothing song. It's just so, it's a beautiful sounding song. I mean, it just, gosh, you, you can just totally relax on with it, you know. It's a nice song to well, listen to on a nice autumn night out with a little bit of a breeze, but just really relaxing, you know. Uh, you know, because I'm still in love with you, I want to see you dance again because I'm still in love with you on this harvest moon. It's just, it kind of reminds you of some kind of old timer, old time, just an older couple, you know, just they're, they're, they're in their twilight years and they just, uh, they can still find the romance and just dancing out in the starlight on a full moon, you know, um, it's kind of very beautiful and innocent. I really like that a lot. But the sound of the song, too, is really beautiful. I think Neil Young's voice, he's always kind of sounded like an old man singing. But at this point, it, was, it came out in 1992, I believe. Um, he was, I don't know, he was probably about 50 years old at the time. I mean, he was maybe getting a little bit older, but I think his voice kind of more matched his age at this point. And the sort of the lyrical content and the the sound of his voice and the sound of the song kind of fit perfectly for how old he was at the time. Um, uh, but I just love all the instruments going on. You know, I love the, the brush stroke on the snare drum, you know, the, the, the drummer's playing with uh, brushes on the, on the, on the drums. And um, he's, there's like two things going on. He, you hear the brush strokes, um, but you also hear, the snare being hit by the brushes at the same time. So you go, you hear the shh, you hear the shh of a brush on a snare drum, but you also hear the ch, 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 you know, you hear that. It's like a light hit on the snare. Um, and then I love the, the pedal steel guitar on this, you know. Um, it's just kind of creates almost like that old timey country sound that is just, very relaxing, kind of reminds me of Willie Nelson or somebody like that, or it's a song that Willie Nelson would write. Um, and then I love the, uh, the harmonic, the harmonics that Neil Young is hitting on his guitar, on his acoustic guitar. You know that, you know, you hear that, those harmonics, the harmonics, if you're not familiar, are like when you're kind of sort of muting a guitar string on certain parts of the fretboard and you pluck the guitar string and kind of quickly lift your finger off of the guitar string as, while you were muting it. And it creates sort of this overtone on, on the guitar string uh, or, or a harmonic. It's like a note that is not normally um, heard if you're just playing the guitar normally, but you you almost are kind of barely touching the guitar string and you lift it off quickly as you hit the guitar string uh, on certain frets on the fretboard. And it creates a beautiful high-pitched noise. And that's what you're hearing when you go, da, 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 da. And I really love that a lot. Um, so all those noises, all those sounds, you know, um, I guess you have marimba on here too. I was looking at, at that and a dobro. Um, but I also really love the vocal harmonies on this. You know, the either oohs, the oohs are really nice. Um, and then especially when he says, on this harvest moon, you hear a woman harmonizing with him, almost as if that's the woman he's dancing with in, in under the stars at night and this harvest moon. 
um, you kind of just picture this old couple on a farm, you know, dancing in the middle of the night, you know, and that's, it's, it's really beautiful. You know, there's a performance that Neil Young does of this song from the early 90s on Saturday Night Live, um, you know, whenever this came out in 1992, and he's performing the song live. And if you can look up that clip, it's just him solo. He's just performing it solo, no backing band. And it's just, you can hear a pin drop. And, you know, that's how, how it felt. Even just watching it on TV, you can hear a pin drop. And it's just really one of the best performances I've ever seen of a musician uh, or musicians playing on Saturday Night Live. Um, it's, it's a great performance. And, you know, I, I don't think he really makes a mistake. But even if he does, it just it's so natural that, you know, because when you're playing by yourself, you know, it's very easy to make a little mistake and maybe one notices it. But even if he does, it doesn't even matter. It's just such a raw, heartfelt performance. And uh, it's one of the best ones that's up there for one of the best performances that Saturday Night Live has ever had of, from a musician. So I highly recommend looking that up. Oh, I just want to touch up on one more thing. I love uh, Neil Young's harmonica solo on this uh, song. It's just goes it just adds to that old country feel of the song old country ballad feel of the song and i it just he just he's not doing anything too crazy on the harmonica he's just and he's partially playing some of the melody but it's just a perfect way to take a break from the lyrics and and just uh it, it's great and all the, on that saturday night live performance he's also playing the harmonica he has it attached you know, one of those attachments that so he was playing the guitar and the harmonica at the same time, much like Bob Dylan would do. Um, anyway, look that up. Uh, I think that'll do it for this reaction video. If you like what you heard and saw today, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any more of these Max and Nikki reaction videos. Tune in next time.